In verse 3, I love this. You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. If you hold fast to the sound words, if you hold fast the faithful word of scripture, and you preach the true gospel, week in and week out, you're going to have opposition. If you're not opposed at all, ever for anything, I would wonder, are you really being faithful to Christ then? You're a soldier. Isn't that an interesting illustration? It's not the only place that it's used in the New Testament. We are soldiers in a truth war. We're at war for the biblical worldview, the right way of looking at everything in the world over against the wrong way of doing it. And that's why it's so important that we emphasize the right way of looking at the world from the first verse of the Bible all the way to the last verse of it. God created the world. We're soldiers in a truth war, and we are to cast down arguments and the lofty speculations of men that try to set themselves up against the knowledge of God. And remember what it says in the Proverbs, there is no wisdom or counsel against the Lord. Anything that opposes the truth of God is by definition going to be false, and it will be easy to show that it's false. 